if you get this error your account may be over east quota or you attempted to upload a folder in cpanel this video is going to help you solve that problem the maximum file size i can upload to my cpanel is 49 gig and the file i'm trying to upload is 20 or it's not even up to 30 megabyte but still i'm getting this error so this is not as a result of you not having enough space or storage in your cpanel let me take you to my cpanel my hosting account and show you see i've not even uploaded anything to my cpanel but i'm getting the error so it's not because you have run out of space so we're going to be solving that error in simple steps to solve this error we will need a file transfer software so go to your web browser go to google and type wins c p and hit enter click on the first link that you see after typing wins cp so let's click on the official site and it's going to take us to this screen this is the official site scroll down and this is the one we're going to download and install on our pc so i click on download wins cp after a successful download of the software go to your downloads folder and it's going to look like this double click on it to install it okay so it's going to be a single file i'll double click on it to install it already i have it installed on my pc so i'm not going to install it again once the software is installed please go ahead and launch it i have it here so I simply click on it or i'll go to my start and then i'll search for it wins cp and here is it i'll just click on it once to launch my files transfer software so we'll wait for it to launch And this is our program. We are first of all going to connect this program to our say panel. But before that, you need to enter your host name here, your port number, your say panel username, and your say panel password. If you don't know where to get these details, Yes, stick around because I'll be showing you in a moment how to grab these details from your say panel. In order to get these details for the connection purposes, we we'll go back to go to our hosting dashboard. From there, we we'll click on log into say panel. If you already have your say panel details, that's your say panel username and password, you are good to go. You only need to log into say panel. But those of you who don't have cPanel details, please, you have to navigate to your hosting dashboard. From there, just click on log in to cPanel.
once your cPanel is fully loaded like this please copy your current username which is this one so i'll just copy it and then i'll head over to our software and we we'll paste our username here host name take you back to cPanel we'll copy our ip address copy go back to our software click here and then we'll paste our ip here as our what our host name please change this to ftp here good job next is our password so where do we get our password if you forget or forgot your cpanel password go ahead and then reset it or you can contact your hosting provider so that they will give you access to your password if you have not reset your password after after you purchase your hosting then you can go to your email history okay so if i go to my email history i can trace my welcome email and i'll be able to find my password there so if i click on email history i'll be able to trace my welcome emails and my password will be there copy that password and then paste it so i'm going to copy my password i have copied my password i'm not going to paste it in our what software so go back there and then we'll paste our password here after that we click on what log in so this is going to log into our c panel and then we wait if everything is set right we're going to see all our files in our cpanel here inside the software all right go to public underscore html and this is my root directory okay so to your right hand side is your cpanel your actual cpanel and to your left hand side is your desktop that means whatever you have on your desktop will also appear here you can click here to go up one level this is your actual cpanel please just navigate to where you want to upload your file in my case i want to upload it inside this sub directory so i'll double click on it to open it like this to your left hand side is your actual desktop your local pc go to where that file is in my case i have it inside downloads inside compressed and then here is it so i guess grab it and drag it to the right hand side which is my actual c panel and leave it once you do that you're going to see this pop-up and this is an upload pop-up to show you the time left for this file to get uploaded to your c panel so we are not going to you're not going to see that error again okay the file will be uploaded successfully so wait patiently whilst this file is uploaded congrats our file has been uploaded successfully without that error to confirm that we can go back to cpanel and then i'll type my directory which is and hit enter now as we can see this is the file if you want to build your own bulk sms website 
watch the video to your left hand side if you also want to build your own music streaming platform like audiomark or spotify then watch the video to your right hand side until then thank you very much for watching this entire video take care